Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. Today we'll talk about Butt Hurt Part 20, a special edition. Now, fair warning for all of you with sensitive ears out there. I'm going to use a term in specific called fuck filth. Shout out to Sophia, she came up with that term. YouTube and dating, right? Especially in the online preparedness world. I've, I've made some observations here I'd care to share with the rest of the class. You need to find out what your goals are on the internet. If it's for online dating and, you know, messing with the prepper women and shit like that, this probably is for you. I came to YouTube myself for different reasons. In the, in the beginning, it was entertainment. And then as I progressed, my goals had changed more towards preparedness. And, and arming others and myself better and preparing myself and others better, better. And a lot of us have been doing that on and offline with each other. There are some people that come to YouTube and Discord specifically for reasons they say, but yet they use it like a dating service or an app, you know, like Tinder, Grinder, whatever. And I'm not here to judge anybody. Like I said, I'm a degenerate. I lost count of how many women I slept with, that I shot crank and dope with, and fucking drank, and we fucked our brains out. Like, I, I lost count. There was like a decade that was lost there, so I'm not judging anybody here. Y'all are adults, you can behave like savages if you want to. Where I take issue with it is people saying they're about something and not being about it. That's what pisses me off. Because, like, I've seen dudes hitting on other people's wives and shit. I've seen other people's wives hitting on other dudes here. And I ain't throwing anybody's shit out there. It ain't none of my business. And I'm keeping it that way. That's what, This is what butt hurt is for us, for a self-betterment series. For like Hutch says, to ruin somebody's fucking Christmas. You know? Because some people do get genuinely butt hurt. And this is for them. The problem is... If you're on YouTube and you want to be prepared, part of being prepared means sorting out your personal life, okay? And I realize as somebody whose peckers got them in trouble more than once, it's easier said than done. I get it, okay? I personally, speaking for myself, I do not date, and I'm not going to get married and have kids for reasons that I'll discuss. I'm not interested in having a pain in the ass, for a woman around, okay? I'm gonna make some generalizations about broads here and some broad generalizations. So it, my female viewership, take it for what it's worth about the fuck filth, okay? I'm not interested in giving the world any more hostages to use against me. I'm not. I have bigger fish to fry. My goal is to arm and prepare myself and others better for what comes next. <sighs> Thinking with my pecker isn't going to solve the problem, okay? And I think that probably goes for all of us that are equipped that way. You know, regardless of who you sleep with, it ain't none of my business. If you're married, you're religious, that's on you. You know, like I said, this isn't about people's beliefs or anything like that. This is a, just an observational thing. You know, when YouTube kicked off with this whole preparedness thing a couple of years ago, everybody was all about getting prepared, and now that they're getting prepared, they're starting to get bored. And they're out causing drama, they're out causing trouble. They're also out trying to fuck each other, both in the literal sense and figurative sense. And I think that's kind of a problem. You know, uh, disputes over relationships tend to end badly in life, both on and offline. Like, you go fucking around with somebody's wife, they'll probably kill you. You know, same for somebody's husband, right? You know, or, or at the very least, they'll knock your teeth out or fucking cause you a never-ending world of shit. Like I said, I'm no, I'm no saint. I, I joke, I fuck around, I use bad language, uh, smoke drink, swear, you know, like, I get it, okay? I use more fuck filth in my daily life than most people have ever heard on the internet. That's just the way I speak, and that's just the way I am. But the message is the same, okay?
So like take this with a grain of salt and maybe if you're one of these people that's here for the purpose of finding a partner, there are better places to do it. Hell, go have random sex with a stranger. If if y'all are into it, then fucking get on with it. But like as far as like this online group of misfits goes, you know, that, that shouldn't be your sole focus. And that's kind of where I'm going to leave this because it's colder than fuck outside and my cigarette's about done. So have a wonderful day and enjoy the butthurt.